there's one thing Adventure Quest Worlds has, it is a lot of classes. There are hundreds of classes in the game. Most of them are rare, a lot of them are hard to get, and today I'm going to show you three very easy to get classes for starting off players, and some of these classes are even like good in the late game. So let's get into the video. Number 3 The first class I'm going to show you needs no introduction. It's the hardest class to get in all of Adventure Quest Worlds. It's so hard it only takes you a few seconds to get it. So you want to click on the class shop. Oh, oh so hard. Oh, the amount of skill required to click on the class shop and scroll down. And purchase the Oracle class. It's free, it's ACs, which means you can store in your bank for free. And the class is actually really decent for the amount of effort it takes to get it, which is zero, zero effort. It's the easiest thing to get in the game. It was added to the game when the Artix Entertainment Facebook account, or maybe the Adventure Quest Worlds Facebook account, one of those hit a million likes on Facebook. Actually, if you scroll down uh, under the thing, you can see we're at 1.3 million likes on the Facebook page. So that is something they added to the game for a new million likes on Facebook. So that's why it's free for all players in case you're wondering why that class is free. And uh, it's a very good class, very good support class. I recommend getting it if you're starting out in Adventure Quest Worlds. Number two. Now, this class is very, very good. I, I actually, one of my favorite classes in the game. So we're gonna slash join Tower of Mirrors. This will take us to the area where we can get the class. It's a very rare occurrence where the class is actually a drop. So uh, there'll be quests here and you will need to finish the quest to unlock this area by yourself. If there are players in this map, you can go to the player if they're at the boss. So if you have a friend that's already completed this quest line and uh, he wants to help you out, then you, he can go to the boss and you can go to him so you don't have to do the quest line here or you can just finish the quest here which will take you a little bit probably about 20 minutes or so but after that all you do is farm Scarletta here and she will drop the class Scarlet Sorceress. So I won't be doing a class guide in this video of course but here is just a little quick demonstration of how this class operates how good it is. So it is a little stacking class and it is a multi-target class it's very good at what it does, and I would highly, highly recommend you get this class. It's probably uh, one of the best classes in the game uh, for how hard it is to get it, which it's not very hard at all. It'll probably take you about an hour at max to get it. Maybe a little bit longer if you get unlucky because you are at the will of the RNG on the drop chance. But it's very easy to get the class, and I would highly recommend you get it if you don't already have it. Let's move on to the final class. The best and final class, number one. Okay, so in my personal opinion, out of the three classes, this one is my favorite. It's Internal Inversionist. Very good class, very easy to get, although it will take you the longest out of all these. Well, depending on your luck with Scarlet Sorceress, how fast you can get that drop. But we're going to slash showing the 4D Pyramid. This will bring us to this map. Now you will have to complete quests here to unlock the rep quest. And doing these quests is actually pretty easy. I'll show you the one that I would do if I was going to farm this again. Uh, like I said, this one took me about three hours uh, to get, which in AQW time, that's actually pretty fast uh, for a class to get an AQW. Three hours is pretty fast. Uh, well, it, of course, it will depend on whether or not you have the cape of awe or a boost active how long it'll take you it could take you longer and uh, waiting for a server boost like the one that's going to happen soon on the 23rd is also a very helpful thing to do when you're farming rep like this so you'll find yourself on the map uh, click on yourself go to quests this is after you finish the quest line uh, there will be this one for black and white gems accept that that's 500 rep for every four kills now once you accept that you're actually going to want to keep the quest open and go in your inventory, click delete on an item, and walk sideways a few rooms. 
So this is why you need to have the quest finished because this bridge will not be here. And you're probably running into that if you're trying to do a sub the quest. So you can say no to that now. And uh, just don't move rooms or else this menu will go away. That's why we had that item deleted on our screen there. So once you're in this room, just farm. And uh, here's a good look at how the class performs very well. Uh, honestly, one of the best farming classes in the game. So there we go. We're done the quest. It's that easy. You say complete, turn in. There's 500 reputation. And uh, to get the class, once you're done, you have to walk back to start. Um, so we'll just walk there real quick. So this class is definitely one of the best classes in the game. Uh, as far as PvP goes, it's a very good dodge class. It has huge hits, of, like huge damage on the hits. Very good. It's got self-heal. It's got everything you want in a class. It's multi-target for farming. It's really a good all-around class to just have. And I'd recommend anyone getting it. And it doesn't take it that long to get. That's why I put it at number one on this list. It's one of my personal favorite classes in the game at the moment. So you're going to come back to start here. Go to map. Well, actually, you can probably do this anywhere. I don't know. I like running back to start. 40 Pyramid Rep Shop is where you can get the class. There you go. It's 250,000 gold. If you want to see a gold guide, I'd recommend searching how to get gold fast on YouTube. I made one, uh, and it might pop up if you search that. Otherwise, I might leave a link or a card in the top right-hand corner. If you would like to see more in-depth uh, guides on all these uh, classes, I'll have the card up in the top right corner. If you're on mobile, that will work. So you can go and look at the other videos. I should include class guides for most of these. Uh, classes also except for Oracle. Oracle is really easy to use. It needs no class guide But uh, things like internal versionists and Scarlet Sorceress do have little intricacies to them So you might want to learn how to use those a little bit better and more efficient uh, for enhancements on Scarlet Sorceress and Internal versionists, I'd recommend full wizard on both of those uh, Probably a little bit of mix of healer and some other stuff on Oracle uh, For enhancements, so thank you guys for watching this video if you enjoyed it, please uh, leave a like down below let's see if we can get the 300 likes on this video and uh, follow me on Twitter we will be doing a giveaway soon on there so I'll see you guys on the next video thank you guys for watching peace thank you for watching the video if you haven't subscribed already consider subscribing I upload almost every day leaving a like on the video helps me a lot and if you want to keep up to date with all the going-ons make sure you follow me on Twitter and Facebook honestly I'm more active on Twitter but I also update you guys on Facebook with all the new videos I'm uploading. Thank you guys for watching again, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.